Hi everyone, welcome back to Chat the Brain with Dr. Ghislaine. I'm Dr. Christine Ghislaine, board certified clinical neuropsychologist. I was asked uh, through the comments on YouTube to talk a little bit about my journey and what I did to become a clinical neuropsychologist here in private practice. Um, the journey is a twisted one and a long one at that. So the folks who go into clinical neuropsychology, um, typically they do a bachelor's degree in a related field to psychology. So my bachelor's degrees are actually in education and psychology. Um, and then I actually decided to do a two year research fellowship at the Children's Hospital in Philadelphia, CHOP, and worked at the Center for Autism Research, looking at infants who were at high risk for an autism spectrum disorder. These infants were considered high risk because they had a sibling who was previously diagnosed and we followed these infants when I was there at 6, 12, and 24 months of age, though I know that study has gone on to extend their age ranges quite significantly. Following my time at CHOP, I applied and was accepted to a graduate program at the University of Miami in Coral Gables, Florida, and I worked with Dr. Michael Alessandri in his autism lab. Um, he is the director of the Center for Autism and Related Disabilities at Miami, and I did a ton of work with him from infancy through uh, older adulthood, working with families and children who were diagnosed with autism spectrum disorders, those transitioning into the workforce, etc. So, um, you know, I spent a lot of time working with families and children who are on the autism spectrum and uh, really enjoyed the work that I did there. Um, while at Miami, I also worked with Dr. Bonnie Levin in the Department of Neurology on the campus, the medical school campus, and that's where I first got introduced to neuropsychology more specifically. So I was working with patients who had Parkinson's disease and other types of neurodegenerative diseases. Um, and really enjoyed my time working with Dr. Levin and her team there as well. Um, I also did some work on the pediatric side of things um, at the Melman Center for Child Development, I believe, um, and worked there as well with a variety of folks doing pediatric neuropsychological evaluations. So after graduate school, I moved on to my internship or residency as it's called. It's a match program and I matched at the Emory School of Medicine. Um, and the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. So I did six months in pediatrics and six months in adults. Um, from there, I did my fellowship at the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta in uh, the Department of Neuropsychology there and worked with individuals from infancy all the way through 21 years of age. So that was both inpatient and outpatient, uh, a wonderful experience at that. After that, I did sit for the board exam for the American Board of Professional Psychology, so I am board certified in neuropsychology, which means I have attained the highest credential possible for the field, and I feel confident that the information that I provide to families is of the highest caliber possible. Um, so I hope that that gives a little bit of information. It certainly is a marathon, not a sprint, but I would do it all over again and then some. I absolutely love the work that I do. And I hope this gives you a little insight into my journey itself.